All right, sun is almost down now. Messing with this for a couple hours here. I guess I took a little bit more out than you had to. Here's my metric tool set. So it's a mess. Dual alternator, the video looks real good. And you have to take everything out here and then put this insert in there. This guy, which that the new pulley will attach to. They give you some specialty wrenches. And then apparently the new alternator goes like right here in these holes and another belt runs this way well i took the intercooler off in order to get a impact gun right through here intercooler back in radiator back in now here, none of these belts had to come off. It's a royal pain in the butt. The set screws are tight. So that's, that's where the new pulley attaches to. And then the fan gets spaced out with this adapter here. There, don't forget your 36 millimeter wrench for this. Um, this should be, in case you don't have it 100% tight, this should tighten as you drive. So use a 36 millimeter wrench. This one here is hefty tidy, righty loosey. And of course the 36 wrench does not fit on the new piece. It fits on this guy here. So when I snug the piece in front, it'll snug that piece too. What I did is I put a long piece of metal on here and whacked it a couple times with the hammer to break it loose. And that's how I intend to tighten this too. Now that fan shroud still needs to be notched out like right there, according to some big picture that there is. So this is the new pulley here, super large for full alternator speed even off of idle. That's gonna go on like this. And this bracket here is gonna go there and off of the front here those two threaded holes there goes a plate that kind of goes in front of it here that the tensioner sits on
four years, 60,000 miles later. It still works. It's all a very tight fit. It's kind of hokey. Back then I paid like $1,800 for the setup. It took me about 10 hours to put it in nicely. Would I do it again? Maybe. It's, it's a nice setup. It's very expensive, very painful to put in. But so far it lasts four years and 60,000 miles still going strong. So um, I tried to find the link for the stuff where I bought it and put it in the description. Uh, if you want to do something like this, good luck. You'll need it and a lot of patience. Alright, this is on a 2018 Sprinter. I'll see you later.